one. Okay, so what we're going to be looking at here is the um, the main admin panel of Magento, and this is very much an overview of what we have on the back end of our Magento store. Okay, so when you log into the admin, this is what you see in the first instance. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm very much going to do an overview and a synopsis of each of the main menu items. Okay, the top level menu, and I might point out a couple of the the more significant sub menu items. Um, everything I talk about here, we will have more detailed videos on on each of those subjects. So look at this as very much as just an overview, a synopsis, something to give you an idea, um, feel for what what the back end of Magento does out of the box. Okay, so first off, this what we can see here is the dashboard, and this is by default the first page you see when you log into the admin. It can be changed, but we are just looking at a, a vanilla installation of Magento. So at the moment, we have no data, so there's nothing here to show you. But basically, this gives you a synopsis of what's going on on your site, what's recently happened on your site, recent orders, customers, products sold, that kind of thing, and also sales, um, sales and, and the uh, peaks and troughs of what's been happening in your sales in the last 24 hours or further back. Okay, so we can look at that in more detail. Everything in this dashboard is available in far more detail through ever menu items on the back end. But this is, like I say, what you get presented with when you first open up your Magento store. So let's have a look at the menu items along the top then. So the first one is the dashboard, so that's the default one that we land on. Right, the next menu item here is our sales menu. So this is where everything to do with orders that have been placed on your system, this is where you're gonna deal with them. This is where you're gonna process them. You can look at the information that within those orders and also, as you can see here, there's there's additional um, tasks in here like raising credit memos. And you'll also note as well that this is where we can define our tax rules. The next menu item along is the catalog menu. And from in here, this is where we define our products, set up our products, what type of products they are, and put in the product details and images and that kind of thing. And we also um, set up our category structure for the store. So that might be the category structure that used for the drop down menu on our um, uh, throughout our store. And it can also be the category structure that's used in maybe a left hand menu and filters as well. Something very important here is something called attributes, and I'll be focusing a lot on attributes throughout all of this video series. And attributes are um, and attribute sets are the main uh, the main thing that products are put together with. And getting these these things right can be very important to running a long term running of a successful store. We also have um, some user generated content that can be. Uh, can be managed through here and that's things like reviews and tagging and as you can see there's also a Google sitemap so anyone who's familiar with SEO so search engine optimization will know the importance of having a having a sitemap and that's something that we can we can generate from within our Magento store moving on we have uh, our customers tab so this is where we can manage details about customers and we can register customers and look at registered customers details and past order history that kind of thing. We can also set up within here customer groups so we can create um, segments of customers or a subset of customers and we can apply different um, different rules to those customers such as different promotions to different customer groups. We then have our promotions menu item. Promotions is where we deal with all our sales and um, any any promotions we may want to run. And you'll see there's two types of promotions here, catalog price rules and shopping cart price rules. And they have two very distinct um, uh, differences about them. Uh, catalog price rules will show the customer the price of a product actually on the product page and before they add it into the basket. So they'll show the discount at that point. So the customer knows when they add that product to the basket how much they will end up paying for that product. A, catalog, uh, a shopping cart price rule rather will allow you to uh, the customer to add items into their basket and then we can create a rule that looks at what's in that basket and create a discount based on what's going on there and it's also where we would create discount codes as well the next tab along is the newsletter tab 
And I have to be honest here, I think this is this is not a very useful feature within Magento. I don't think there'll be many people out there who would recommend using this feature. Uh, it allows you to create a very generic newsletter that goes out to everyone. Unfortunately, there's no kind of tracking built into that. So you can't see who's opened it and you can't see who's uh, uh, unsubscribed or um, who's actually clicked through on a link. So these are kind of important metrics when you're sending out email marketing campaigns, uh, which is what the purpose of this is for. There are many great products out there that integrate into Magento very well. So we'll discuss those in later videos. The CMS tab, CMS stands for Content Management System. And um, in this case, it's dealing with um, pages. So uh, this is different to our product pages and our category pages. These pages are static pages that maybe have static content. So something like your uh, customer service page, which might have a load of uh, FAQs or or, um, or information that customers need to, to um, do if they're to get in contact with you, for example. We've also have them in here static blocks, which are, which are smaller chunks of content. And we have widgets as well, which allow us to place content um, throughout the site in, in, various, in various places. So this is quite an interesting area of the whole system. And there's quite a lot to cover in here. So we will have several videos on that uh, in, this, in this series. The reporting, um, within Magento, there are certain reports that are built in. They are very top level reports. So um, you won't be able to drill too far down into the information in here, but they will give you some kind of generic information like, you know, what, how many sales you made in a particular day or what products um, you maybe need to reorder because the stock's getting low in, in those. So there's a few reports in there that we can, um, we can look at that are very useful. Uh, one thing about reporting though, like I said, is that you will not necessarily be able to drill down into much detailed information. You'll have to probably look at something external to do that. And finally, we have the system menu. And the system menu is where a lot of the policies of the website are actually defined. So um, if I just take a couple of examples of in here, we can see things like, here's the transactional email. So this is the, these are the emails that go out when someone places an order or when they create an account. They will receive an email from you. So this is where we can define what those emails look like and what the content of those emails are. We also have uh, within here things like manage stores. So if you're looking to run multiple stores and multiple websites from the one installation of Magento, then this is where we start is in the manage store section. And we can, we can actually start building up layers of stores and store views. We also have this menu item here, which is configuration. And that's where we will define a whole host of things. And when, when we come to look at this in, in a in a video, you'll see there's a whole load of options in there, and we can define things like you know how uh, what size the product grid is, um, where our transactional emails come from. We can also define uh, what our shipping methods are that we're going to be using, and what those shipping rates are going to be, what payment methods we're going to use for taking payment off customers, what countries we want we want this store to be operating in. There's a lot that we can do within there, and that's where you know you will spend initially when you're setting up your store, you'll spend a bit of time in there getting that right. Once your store's up and running, then that might be just you're going back to, to tweak elements within there. So that's an overview of the of the admin panel. Um, and like I say, all of this information will be uh, contained on additional videos that, uh, that we'll pu publish on our site very soon.